Many thanks for joining us on this special edition of Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. I'm Udoka Njoko, and this promises to be a table-shattering show where we'll be looking deep into everything happening with the running of sports in Nigeria. Well, I've got Steve Austin Nwabweze, the head of sports and entertainment law group of the firm Petstone and Grays LP, and his colleague Ibi Donyi Aino, the associate in the sports and entertainment law department, of course, at Petstones and Grays LP. Well, I'll be having another guest on the show later on. He'll be joining us as we'll be breaking the table on the Nigerian Professional Football League. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Mm. It's nice to be here again. Are you ready to shatter this table? <laughs> Good morning, Nduka. Good morning, Lagos. Um, I don't know about shattering the table. I still need my table intact. Oh, you need it intact. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the Nigerian Professional Football League now. And of course, uh, let's start off with the image rights of the players that play in the league. Now, from my understanding, the provision of image rights uh, is uh, um, it enables the definition, the value, the commercial exploitation and protection of image rights associated with a player. Now, um, it means that um, from what I actually looked up on, on, on the internet, like if a player is playing under the Nigerian Professional Football League now, the LMC seems to hold all responsibility, anything concerning that player, except he signs a contract with probably a private company and anything, but the LMC solely owns the image right of that particular player. Okay. Um when we're talking about image rights, first mm. off, I think we should have a definition of image rights. Mm. Basically, what it means, uh, the rights of a player mm. to either license, sell, or you know, have control over his image, mm -hmm. the use of his image. Mm -hmm. Now, the image basically could mean his name, his number, yeah. if it's a number associated with him, his nickname, his voice, his distinctive fe features, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, based on, on, on law, you know, the use legal parlance, mm. you can only assign your image rights to three people. Mm. Your club, your football club, your sponsor, and your national football association. Mm. So now under the Nigerian uh, Premier Football League, in their, in their framework rules, it provides that any player that's playing in the NPFL assigns their image rights to the league management company. That is the, that the provision, the clause in the, prim, in the framework rules, mm. that is totally wrong. Because you cannot, the, the essence of image rights is to be able to make a certain amount of money or to make some money from the use of my image. Mm. For instance, looking at Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. everybody knows Ronaldo. We know his number, CR7, a lot of things are attributed with him. Now, a lot of brands want to be associated with the image Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. Now, you cannot expect Cristiano Ronaldo to assign his image rights to uh, La Liga. Yeah. You know, because it is because individually by himself is going to make a lot of money from mm -hmm. the use of his image rights. So we're looking at the NPFL framework rules, and we're saying the the assigning image rights mm. to the LMC is wrong. Mm. It is not. We're, we're looking at it from the legal aspect. Mm -hmm. It is wrong based on law. You cannot expect a player to assign his image right to the league management company mm -hmm. to use for the promotion of the league. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a different thing if you say we have sponsors for the for the Nigeria Professional Football League, league yeah. so we want to use uh, some players. Actually, what they provide for is that um, when when they want to when they want to advertise mm -hmm. or promote maybe a brand that is as, uh, affiliated with the NPFL, NPFL, they use they can use three or more players. Now. These three or more players, at least one of them, each of those players must be from different clubs, clubs playing okay. in the NPFL. So that's that is okay. But from that, whatever, whatever the the the, the framework rules does not now provide for royalties mm. that will be given to the to players. The players. So obviously, from that promotion, you're going to make a certain amount of money. Mm. What now happens to the image of the to the to the use of the image of the player? Mm. The, the the that player's image has a commercial value exactly. placed to it. So you use the player's image. Image, and then you give him a certain royalty saying okay this is what you get from we from us using your image to promote mm. the league so image rights that's basically what uh, you know the, the they need to change in their framework rules mm. let us set out the particulars okay this is what our framework rule says on uh, image, image rights. rights this is the certain percentage that you you'd be you know you'd be getting mm -hmm. for instance uh, when the I, I'm not sure you remember when the, the female World Cup when when he wanted to 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 go on, that was yeah. yeah. There was a there was a campaign that was done. Uh, Oshala was in the campaign. Onome Ebi, I think uh, Chikwelu was also in the campaign, yeah. and then CC and some other persons. Mm -hmm. Now that is for the national. That is for the national uh, association. That's the football, mm -hmm. the Nigerian national association. Yeah. So they can use those the, those players have assigned their rights, their image rights to the Nigerian association, football association, mm -hmm. to use to promote 
that our, our own national um, association, our football association. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, looking at this now, uh, going to the LMC framework rules, because she mentioned it, uh, things need to be changed and all that. If it, going to the website, I was shocked when I saw the, the dates on the website, on the framework rules, 2014-2015 season. That's number one fault for me from um, the L L LMC. Now you talk about image rights. Is it not a breach of contract if the LMC goes ahead to own a player's um, image and does not even pay royalties to um, these players? Because I know when you got, take um, Samuel Chukweze, for example, he plays for Villarreal and was signed on to um, Jay-Z's record label, Rock Nation. And they, decide, they, they, had, they had a contract with him saying that they will own his... Uh, everything concerning him and he made that he had an agreement and he signed a contract and definitely they'll pay him whatever royalties that comes his way now the lmc the case is different here number one let's even tackle the issue of the framework rules that dates back to 2014 2015 is there ever going to be a change on this image right issue well um incidentally the framework rules has been in operation since the 2014 2015 season mm -hmm. and what we see every season is a reproduction of the, the framework thing. rules from inception. Mm. So what it simply means is that there has not been any amendment, there has not been any reviews whatsoever mm. on the framework rules. Now, going back to image rights, I completely on all fours with my colleague here. And um, um, the practical demonstration of the issues, the legal issues that can mm. come out of this was um, uh, demonstrated in the case of uh, Mohamed Salah and the Egyptian F Football mm -hmm. Association. Mm -hmm. Where the Egyptian Football Association, they were being sponsored by Egypt Air. Mm. So, Egypt Air sought to use the image of Mohamed Salah, Salah yeah. for one of their promotional activities. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mohamed Salah's representatives, incidentally, was smart enough to incorporate a company where he assigned his image rights to. Mm. So, the company didn't allow them to use the face of Mohamed Salah. Nevertheless, they went ahead, put his name on the banner, and one of the contentions of Mohamed Salah's representatives was mm. that they made the use of the image of uh, Mohamed Salah over and above every other teammate. Mm. Because what the law requires, what the LMC rules require is that uh, in order not to over exploit the image, mm. image rights of a player, you have um, not less than or no, not less than three players yes. at once yes. doing the promotional activity. So the mm. focus is not uh, put on one player alone. Yeah. So Mohamed Salah was furious that, oh, you exploited, despite knowing that uh, I'm also affiliated to a rival airline, mm. which pays me royalties, pays, pays me sponsorship um, bonuses and allowances. So that is, that is the practical demonstration of what can arise when this kind of thing is not handled effectively. Probably, yeah. And so my advice to the players in the LPFL is simply this. Uh, you, you register a company and assign that image right to that company. Mm. So every commercial dealing will now have to be conducted through your company. That way, mm. you will not, not only be able to isolate yourself from all the um, legal hassles of defending or uh, fighting for such things, yeah. but you will be able to escape some of the liabilities, mm. possible liabilities that can also come from there. Mm. Right. So, and again, uh, just going back to the historical antecedents of how this image rights came issue about, yeah? came about, until 2000 and 2001, that was the case of Michael Douglas and his wife, then Catherine Zeta-Jones, mm -hmm. who got married in a private ceremony. Um, the cause of their wedding, because at that time, Douglas was um, affiliated to OK Magazine in the UK. So they had exclusive rights to the use of his images. Mm. So Hello Magazine, a rival magazine, came into his wedding reception and surreptitiously took pictures of the, of the wedding and Put released the them for 24 hours later. Mm. So Douglas was, was livid, even though the, the court um, failed to uh, give judgment, uh, you know, give, grant the relief sought, mm. the matter failed on some technical grounds. The yeah. court was able to affirm the existence of a right to privacy. Mm. So now what's, um, talking about the legal treatment in Nigeria, you will never find a statutory protection for image rights. Mm. So what people have now resorted to is the common law of protection afforded by the right to passing off. Passing mm. off simply means that somebody has um, conducted himself in a way that misrepresented your own thinking mm. Mm. and that 
that that would definitely uh, incur damages yeah. against that person. Mm -hmm. So you institute an action in person of that's the only way. Probably, if Mohamed Salah's case had gone to court, Mohamed Salah would have been able to bring an action in person of mm -hmm. against the Egypt Football Association. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like my colleague said, you can only assign your image rights to th three individuals: your mm -hmm. sponsors, where you have a sponsorship deal mm -hmm. arrangement with exactly. a company, your club. And your national team association. Not even the LMC. Not the LMC. Mm -hmm. So that the LMC is, is basically usurping the position of the, the, of the clubs. clubs yeah. Yeah. Now, looking at um, the framework rules now, um, the image rights, under the image rights contract, it says that partic particulars of any image contract payment in respect to the player shall be set out in the contract with his club, which is not what we are seeing at the moment. And the contract between a club and a player shall be signed in each case in the presence of witnesses, the player, the player's parents, if the club is under age of 18 and authorized signatory on behalf of the club. Now, the law says that it has to do with the club, the sponsors, the parents, family, and all that. But on ground, what we see lately is quite different. Now, when, what are the options available um, to the MPF when it comes to maximizing the potentials of image rights? OK, <clears throat> the conversation is LMC, as a management company, as mm. company management, managing the league, excuse me, should not own the rights, the, the image rights of any of player. Players, yeah. So that's what the conversation is. It should not be assigned to the LMC. It should be assigned for, for instance, um, I, I know I know of uh, certain uh, Nigerian players that have assigned their image right or the use of their image rights to talent management companies. companies yeah. So they, they, if you need if you need uh, a, a particular player to be your brand ambassador, you reach out to the to the management company, mm. and then they you know they give you their their their, their they tell you what they want. You know mm. they give you their their details. This is what yeah, I want. Terms and reality, Their terms and conditions. So. Um, and, and if you look at the EPL, I actually went back to look at the EPL. If you look at the EPL, first of all, I'll tell you that the NPFL framework is is, a, is, is copied verbatim from from the EPL. The EPL. Now, if you look at the EPL, they they they, they have their contracts. The, the particulars are set out. Mm. So that's the difference between the LMC and the, MP, EPL. And the EPL. It is set out. This is what this is what uh, is provided for. This is what we provide for when it comes to image rights. Mm. This is what we get. This is what we use your image. You know, this is what we are, this is how we are going to use your image. Mm. This is what you are going to get from the use of your image. Whether the, a certain percentage is paid to the club, mm. a certain percentage is paid to the player, the particulars are set out. So the options, like you said, the options open to the NPFL. First off, I would say they need to look at a reconstruction of the framework rules. Mm. Like like you said, you went to the website, it's just the 2014-2015 rule. Yeah. Now, these rules are even reproduced. The the season started, uh, I think, 3rd of November. Mm -hmm. We don't have the 2019-2020 framework rules yet. Mm. So the question now is what rules are they working are, are they working with to you know to conduct the league? Yeah. Because if the 2019-2020 the, the, the framework rules, they're not yet out. Mm. So we're saying, look back, take a look back to your framework rules. Reconstruct your framework rules, and then your standard because they have standard player contracts. Yeah. Now these standard player contracts are contracts that are signed by every you know every player playing in the NPFL. Mm -hmm. The standard. The only thing that might change is the name, the clubs, you know, the salary, and some other uh, other terms that, mm -hmm. that that you know that are peculiar to the player. So you look at the the the, the provisions of the course that talks about image rights, yeah. and then you break down the particulars of the image rights and say, okay, this is this is the study. You don't ask, you don't expressly say the the rights. Are Assigned to the mm. LMC, yeah. the, the 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 details are broken down, mm. you know, properly, so everyone knows his own responsibility, and then the players know what they get from us from from the use of their image. Just to add right. to what you said, I will look at it from the options available to the player. Yeah, how can the player maximize the commercial potentials of his image rights? Mm -hmm. It's very very simple. You can sign sponsorship deals, mm -hmm. sponsorship deals with um, brands, cosmetic brands, fashion mm -hmm. brands, or even confectionaries. Um, you can also um, sign um, merchandising deals with them, mm -hmm. then endorsement deals. You know, I, I struggle to understand why people who are engaged in Big Brother Africa come out of the Big Brother house and all of a sudden of they become endorsed by various brands, brands yeah. in Nigeria. But you don't see any MPFL player mm. endorsed by anybody. Mm. So that is something that they really need to look at. Roger Federer, for almost a decade, has been wearing the Rolex wristwatch because he has 
a sponsorship deal, them, exactly. a contract with them with, with Rolex. So he doesn't wear any other doesn't Serena wear any other and, uh, yes. exactly. Nike, yeah. But the question is what what um, is the commercial value of the Nigerian Professional Football League and of course the players playing in the Nigerian Professional Football League a lot of things happening in the MPFL and of course sports in Nigeria but let's take a breather and we'll come back we'll still continue with the show it's Plus Sports Special on Plus TV Africa <laughs> 